Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great as always, and I'm back here today with uh, another episode. Today, or our last few days, were really chaotic from a certain point of view. Uh, just to be very upfront, I'm not sure if this should be... I mean, like, I'm, I'm literally treating it as, as just doing it for fun, uh, for me. Um, <laughs> it's just so... I, I genuinely, like, so much freaking enjoy recording videos. Um, it's been the thing that I always wanted to be doing since I was, since the age of like, seven or so. I still remember, like when I was in even even preschool in kindergarten, I was always always just like creating big models of ships and just I would be traveling the world, shooting videos. I wanted to be an actor when I was like eleven. I told my grandfather that like, okay, I'm gonna be an actor in Hollywood, <laughs> and just ridiculously big dreams for, for some reason, and. Yeah, I mean, like it, it's so much freaking fun. So I, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just keep it up for me. Cool. Uh, there are many, many things, or like a few things I want to go through with you. The first one is the power of focus. Actually, today I went through some materials in terms of actually becoming good, becoming good at certain things. Um, like in the last four months that I've been super focused that I've hit actually this week is it's gonna be 2000 hours so I'm just literally uh, thinking of how I'm gonna um, kind of like celebrate this uh, but, but yeah it's just like literally the biggest factor here for me right now is just super focused like the more focused you are the better your output is so Kind of like like just not working on so many projects at the same time, but rather just just working on one, doing the same thing for a long enough period of time, and eventually you just kind of create this winning loop that just takes you so much further ahead. For example, for me, doing these podcast videos or whatever it is for like 150 days straight, it, it just kind of brought me forward so so freaking much in terms of my ability to communicate, even the like in general how confident I feel on camera and and, and stuff like that. I mean, these are skills that you can teach yourself or lo like learn how to do. It's it's pretty much just the behavior that you need to train yourself to follow. And and yes, yeah, so I just kind of like wanted to draw up on this. Cool, where to start? Yeah, um, the the thing here is that <laughs> like the last five days or so, I've I've literally been just so scattered all around the place because. Um, I've actually accidentally took on two additional tasks or two additional projects um, on top of what I was doing out till now and it just completely took me out of the whack. The biggest factor when you have multiple projects on which you're working on is the overhead. And it's actually like the overhead that you're still thinking about different tasks that you're working on and you're never finishing the main ones. You want to finish. I'm just thinking what I, the audio is working right here. It should be. So, yeah, even like having or living a very simplified life in terms of working 16 hours a day and tracking it, it still pays off if you just freaking focus on one thing. Like for me, it's it's all about just just kind of like simplifying your life to its purest essence, and then just pinpointing like a snapper those things you want to achieve and just going full out into them. Um, and, and just being very clear about the things you want to have in life and the things you want to achieve and stuff like that. Um, for me, like genuinely speaking, since the age of 13, when I've been in a very, very bad shape, I, I, I've been looking at, at some photos from 2014, which is literally 10 years ago, and December 2014, so like nine years, almost done. And like, like that was the time when I was starting working out. And, and just looking at all the years, how, how they have passed, one of the greatest things that I'm really proud of and that I've that literally has contributed the most to the quality of my life in terms of how I actually perceived that <laughs> was the freaking shape that I've been in. It's, it's very, it might sound very, very weird, but I'm, I'm just like that kind of person who just really focuses. Like, I don't care about cardio i don't care about anything else i just like freaking want to work out and, and that's my thing 
just being being a six pack, um, being super jacked all the time. And and that's even the thing for me that um, when I'm considering traveling, I'm usually considering like, okay, where am I going to have access to the gym? Because like gym is a great place. You just go there, you leave all your emotions outside. You just kind of like finish what you've started. Uh, kind of like trains the, the basics of, of discipline you even have. Uh, what I found even better uh, to work even better is just just have a private gym and just do all of your workouts there and pretty much don't have to talk to anyone else. Because when I've been traveling to a, to a public gym, it was always been pain in the ass. I was just literally spending f- so much time going there, going back, seeing all these people that I didn't really want to see. Um, just to give you in context, like like I I found I'm, like right now I kind of find myself to be a very also live a very or so to say a quite a bit isolated life. I don't really treat it as anything bad. I literally meet so so few people every single day. Uh, but at the same time, like the type of people I meet every single day, like I just really pinpoint them. And it's very important that we're aligned on the visions we're creating. The team, for example, we have on board and a few of the projects we're involved in as well. Um, like all of these things, it's so to say they, they play with each other. And if you're just surrounded by a few people, but the people are really great. That's great. It's the same thing as like, I'm a, I'm a great minimalist. In terms of, for example, for me, um, if... A room is not cluttered and if there are only a few things and it fulfills its purpose like that's it i don't need a lot of things like literally i, I want to just revamp my entire wardrobe with and and have black t-shirts like black t-shirts but new ones like just literally that's that's the only thing i want i want one perfume i want um Everything has to be streamlined for me to actually be able to get the most out of the things that I actually want to get the most out of. So, like that was even a thing for me that, and and that's even one of the reasons why I enjoy like living here so much. Like like literally, out of the, all of the places where I've been to, I haven't yet found a place that would be on such a high level. I mean, I found a few. I was considering them as well, but at the end of the day, I, I mean, like my next stops for that, that I really feel where I'll actually move will be Dubai. And I'll be searching for something very similar there. Like essentially very close to all like bigger landmarks. I'm, I'm thinking of Dubai Marina. Um, yeah, Dubai Marina is a very, very nice place. So I would like to go there. The second part, or maybe like close to Burj Khalifa. The second part is that I want to be I want to be have the ability to be be social, but and, and like good quality of social contact. But at the same time, not just just um, being in a high quality and established neighborhood. The sec- the third part is what's the third part? Um, like access to food or like somehow figure this out. Nice view. I mean, at the end of the day, like literally, I have been thinking about just... <laughs> like that's the thing today. Like we're thinking about like, okay, you're going to go and move into a... Like, like that was my vision, going and moving into like... 70th floor of one building in Dubai Marina and just having a very nice view and pretty much just working from there. Whereas right now, I really, I guess like I'll, I'll buy it very soon. You can just pretty much spend like three and a half K on Apple Vision Pro and have as many screens as you want and be like, transport yourself to whatever place where you want to actually be. It's it's literally ridiculous. And the ta- I... <laughs> I'm so freaking excited about these things. Literally, you can just see it on myself. It's not about how much things you can add into your life, but about how much things you can remove and still keep your life complete. The thing is that, like, I'm I'm literally just rethinking everything systematically from a certain point of view. And um, 
everything is just about balance and and like also managing and hedging your downside because the more upside you get like sometimes you also get get more downside uh the fact being that um like for example my parents they've built a huge house like literally a huge mansion um compared to the other houses where <laughs> where they like like in the neighborhood it's a freaking huge house um and like just literally now seeing how much stress and positive emotion it brought them or is bringing them compared to the amount of stress that went into the construction and planning and everything else the risk reward is out of whack here uh, dear which means that like like just taking a learning point from that that i i really want to focus on actually going out there and um like the four hour work week, the new rich lifestyle, like that's something I want to pursue and even kind of like elaborate on even, even a bit further is that just, okay. I mean, like have all these dreams that you, or have all these dreams that you want to accomplish and just like go out there and do whatever the heck you want. Even click funnels, funnel hacking, like these communities, and even like I'm flying to Miami in a, in about three weeks from now, super excited about that. I'm just going to Grand Cardone 10 X, um, and then whole movement that's there. So, uh, planning to meet a few, few cool guys there. And yeah, it's, it's just like, I I'm literally that type of guy who has always wanted to do this stuff, who is just, super excited about doing cool stuff like if if you want to ask me like what, what's the what do you really want i just like want to explore i want to reach new heights i want to do stuff that i've never done before at the same time kind of like becoming more clear about the things that i'm actually actually want to be engaged in and like even the type of life that i want to live for example i know that i i like to build stuff I want to become an expert at the stuff that I'm doing. At the same time, I'm just know that like rather expert at execution and making things happen rather than being an expert, for example, in coding, because that, that stuff, I'm horrible in that stuff, or at least I don't have the experience. I, I, I have a bit different type of thinking. I'm more of a people type person that I just, even though I'm like, that's the thing, even though I'm more introverted from a certain point of view that if you ask me about like, okay, what's the craziest trip that you could like, like right now? Okay. What's the craziest trip that you can think of? And for me right now, it's just, there are multiple, one could be that I would just take my dad and I would just like fly him out into you at, into the U S which we should be doing it perhaps in the next year or two and just take him with a bicycle and just go in or take him on a road trip to all the national parks there right now. And like, okay, like literally that's, that's the perfect life for me. Just, just being out there, being in the nature, being somewhere stuck where no, where there's no one else. You're just like literally on a desert. There's nothing else. And those moments, even as I've been traveling in the U S like those moments, even when you're traveling, like for six hours doing road tripping, that, that was the thing that excited me the most. And at the end of the day, these things are, cost nothing. I've been to parties. I've been to like literally the most prestigious clubs in, in Miami. And I've, I've gone there and uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, I, I, I've been bored like for, I, I spent so much money there, more for the entire road trip. I've been like, what the heck is this? I didn't enjoy it at all. I didn't enjoy the type of people who went there, just like some girls that wanted to hook up, like literally uh, like, like one woman with kids that were sleeping upside uh, upstairs in the hotel was speaking to me and try like hooking up with me. I'm uh, like, she wanted, I mean like weird stuff happened there. Um, but just, okay. Like what's that? There's even this thing that you have decreasing returns. Like the more exposed to a certain thing you are, the lower your level of stimulation is that with that, for example, if you want to know, like in the last few days or in the last six months, I guess like last four months, I, I trained myself to eat chewing gums because that kind of like helps me to just focus. And when I eat, when I eat them, I have less appetite for, to actually eat, which means that I'm decreasing my caloric threshold, which enables me to get a bit more lean. So, and with that being said, 
I first like started chewing one, one chewing gum. And then now I like a few weeks ago, I started chewing two and then three and then four. And then it just like kind of went up and up and up until now I'm like just literally going for one bar like this every single day. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna probably just, just ramp it up down, but um, I'm using it literally just like to cope with stress and everything else. Just, okay, we're gonna make it, uh, have it, have it attacked. So yeah, I mean like, and the thing here is that I, I've done the last year. I literally went to all these big seat, big big things. I, I've gone to Hawaii, the wave sharks, jumped from an airplane. Like literally, those things were so great. Um, one of the best experiences of my life. But once I've, I've done that, after one and a half months, I'm literally in, in a in a feeling that. <laughs> Okay, like just screw everything. I just freaking want to work and just work on myself. Uh, I like on the things I've been working on. So at the end of the day, it's just like even even from my point of view, it, like having the balance and, for example, having four holidays in a in a year that you're gonna actually go on a like spend a holiday somewhere somewhere, and then in between that, just working on some stuff. I guess like that's very important. At least for me. Like you can, like even my point of view. If I mean, for sure, no one of, no one knows how uh, long you're you're gonna live. Um, for sure. I mean, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna live. Uh, for sure that. Um, a few concepts here. If you, you already kind of like, from my point of view, you already know how it feels like not to live because like just okay. Think if you've been born, let's say like in 2000 in the year 2000 then okay try to think how how you felt in the year 1990 yeah, 1999 like okay great you just haven't been here time didn't exist everything happened at the same time uh because yeah time wasn't a thing for you because you essentially weren't here so like like rethinking things like that and like in terms of of that like like the things you fear the most will happen anyway and why just to fear it? Like, why to fear it? In, two, in 200 years from now, you're not going to be here. And who cares? Like, okay, that's great. Like, okay, you're going to be now afraid and, and we'll just try to somehow change it. Nothing will change either way. Uh, and like, on the other hand, you can just like be here, enjoy the ride, like, do whatever the heck you want. That's great. At the same time, I guess like I have a bit of, I'm not sure if, it's just like fear from getting old. I guess like that's more of an urgency that I have to actually go out and do all the stuff that I know that I should be doing and just literally I want to be doing. So that might be a thing as well. But yeah, I mean like just having the time constraint about the things that you want to go and achieve, I guess like it's very, very good. Um, okay, I'm not sure how to just set up the camera. It's way better than just just to kind of like waste your time and literally I just like if you just count it out you have like thirty six three hundred sixty thousand hours if you're twenty years old like you have like three hundred sixty thousand hours until you turn eighty which isn't that much at all I'm gonna hit my two k two thousand hours right now in terms of the time I invested since the fifth of November actually into the things that I'm gonna be working on or I'm, I'm working on and. Now just just re reworking the allocation of the time and like the things that you want to be working on, in terms of like like even my point of view in this, like just playing it safe and buying like stupid stuff that you don't need. Even for me right now, just just kind of like the freedom for me and having certain values fulfilled is way more important than just trying to flex and have some things just to. I, like I try to eliminate as much complexity out of my life. I, I have nothing. Like that, that's a weird thing as well. I have nothing to eat in my house. Like in my in my entire house in my entire flat, I have nothing to eat. Anytime I want something to eat, I just literally go out and and take it from the shop, which takes me like two minutes. I do that because it helps me to not to eat too much throughout the day, as well as I just. I'm more focused and I have a few breaks here and there, just go for a very quick walk, run down the Sears and just take anything I want. My my entire grocery store is my shop or is my fridge. I can literally take anything I want. So I go there like five times a, five times a day. Like don't ask me about productivity. It's just about taking these breaks and just um, 
really thinking my thoughts and then being more focused once I come back. It, it, like once you establish a certain benchmark, it's, it's, I would say a lot about just like minimizing your downturns, even in, in terms of, for example, me and my financial goals, et cetera, et cetera. Like I'm not seeing them anywhere close to where I actually want to be. With that being said, like, okay, great. I, I took a few de detours here and there. In the meantime, it's been a freaking blast in terms of the things I've done. Uh, in terms of even like, I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink, I, I like don't do any like weird stuff. Very, very ra rarely. The last time I actually dra drank alcohol was, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if I should be even sharing this here. It was in Vegas. <laughs> and even the reason why I did that was I actually, it was the first time that I've been in the US. I've, I like before that I didn't drink alcohol for like another two years or so. And it was just like, we, it was so much freaking fun. It was, it was so much freaking fun. I like Vegas. Um, it, it's just like a city where things happen. A lot of people come there every single year and like a very similar place for me than that is Dubai. So I'm just gonna probably try and relocate them there at least for a few years and then just go ahead and, and do some stuff. In terms of like just living your dream life, um, like that's the disproportionate return. Like even when it's the first time you're gonna have the most pleasure from that and if like if you're seeking pleasure like then then it's great you're just gonna like detour from the traditional path at least like if you're really committed because i've seen people like from top business schools even a few days ago or a few week ago uh, like there was a meeting um with like the 60 he, he, he his net worth is in the multiple nine figures he's a guy who is the ceo of i'm not sure uh, one of the, like the 61st biggest, yeah, Cisco, Cisco, um, 61st biggest company in the entire world has been here and okay, it's great. Um, it's not just about earning money. It's, it's a mo lot more about just going out there and, um, I would say like earning money when you're young, that's, that's, that's more important, but like once you get to a certain threshold of actually the money that you earn, then you <clears throat> can like just start focusing on different stuff. And yeah, for me, it's just like being jacked. Like that's, that's a supreme thing here. Um, you just, you just, you just feel so freaking great every single day. And but like the biggest factor here is that you get jacked, not by just working out, but a lot more by actually just taking care of your, of the diet that you have, which also implies that if you self-impose certain limitations of, for example, the foods that you eat, and then you go out and actually apply them um, and maybe like just transitioning this to different parts of your life. Like your your freedom comes from the things that you aren't doing. And sometimes that's a great painting. Or it, like, for example, it was even as, who's this guy? Michelangelo, yeah, Michelangelo's David, the statue. It's, it hasn't been created by the process of addition, but rather by the process of elimination that every single piece of stone that wasn't needed for the finest definition of a masterpiece was just eliminated. And that's it. What else? I mean, yeah, like it's important to just have a bucket list and go after it and do all the things you ever wanted to do. Right now, I'm thinking about going to Dubai and actually that that's the thing I'm rethinking. So maybe I'm going to go to Dubai in, in June or July just to celebrate that I'm finished university. Yay. And be there. 
we'll see. I'm, I'm not gonna stay there for longer than one week because I'm just gonna burn. And yeah, as I was saying that, right now it's, it's way more important for me just to have access to, to the gym. And like, even when I've been traveling, literally like you feel that, okay, you're great. You feel great, you're traveling, you're meeting people, you're in Hawaii, you're in a Bali, you're here and there. Um, like those things were even a bit more stressful for me. Like they were more stressful, but at the same time, like, okay, risk reward, but stuff. I'm able to get much more done here. I would say like, I, I definitely want to travel. I want to travel to all the countries that are out there. Um, once you travel, like these are the skills that you gain. Like, okay, once you travel, you can like, get into the whack of how it, how it actually works. You just fly wherever you want. You just figure stuff out. Um, but as far as it goes, I just really want to just focus on, on the main things. If you just kind of live, live in Europe, like these things, like, okay, if you just want to determine the quality of life and just somehow benchmark it, like, yeah, many things that really go into that. Like, for example, the education that you have, the, the skills that you have, the capabilities that you have, the connections that you have, the, the friendships that you have, the relationships that you have, the... Like, it's very hard to see the background that you have. Like, for example, if a person comes from, like, Yemen or some, some, a place like that, Somalia or Afghanistan, okay, it's it's great. Like, I mean, it's not great. With that passport, you can travel almost anywhere. I have I had a friend, he was coming from Kazakhstan, and when he wanted to enter the U.S., like, they literally interviewed him for, like, 30 minutes and asked him, okay, like, will he commit terror or did you come to the u.s to commit terrorism or something like that i was like holy crap so a lot of things that you have in life you could be grateful for or even like just from my position that great i've been born into slovakia which many people might say like okay it's another give it a give it a good of a country but at the same time okay great um it's super safe we have the country is developing, I would say. It's one of the nicest countries in the world, based on what I've seen. It's it's very pure. It's not internationalized. It's very, like, not, not a, lot, a lot of people travel there. We have, people say that we have our problems at the same time. It's just like, okay, it's, it's a great country to be in. It's very small. You can travel to anywhere you want from, literally just like, one hour from my home, I, I have an international airport. I can just travel where I want. Well, I, like if it's US, if it's Taiwan, if it's Singapore, uh, Australia, you can just travel where, wherever the heck you want. What else? The living costs and stuff in our country are pretty reasonable at the same time. People are super nice. I'll probably just return to my country at the end of the day, but I'm like right now, we just want to kind of travel out a little bit more. What else? Like if you just go go to the US, like that was the thing. I've been in the US for one and a half months, just thinking, okay, like LA, this is so freaking great. Like they're big, great places, but at the same time, I just came to Vienna and um, I was mesmerized for a bit. I just been thinking as I was, I was, I was walking because all the, I mean, like I just, when I wanted to take a walk from, from the train station back home. It was like 1 a.m. or so. For cardio, burning calories because I ate so, so much in the airport or in the airplane, so many burritos. And as I was just going for the city, I just realized like, okay, it's, it's so much better than all the, all the U.S. cities in terms of, okay, you just in the U.S., you, you are afraid to go out, during the night, you have homeless people sleeping all, all around the place. You have like crazy people doing some weird stuff and like doing not um, doing some, you know, like weird stuff there. You just come here and everything is perfect. You have like great food in the, in the supermarkets. It's reason, reasonably priced. Um, it's super tasty, super healthy, no GMOs. Um, not many things to change. Whereas in the US, like great, really, I've been to Hawaii. I just kind of woke up at 5 a.m. I worked until like 12, 8, 12 p.m. Then went to the gym, which took me like 
the, the, the way there took me like 45 minutes just because of how far away it actually was. Then 45 minutes back. Yeah, I mean, you have many things that you, you can be just so much, so freaking grateful for and many times we're just not kind of realizing them. And even for me, I want to go back to, to Bali and stuff, but just right now, I wouldn't want to be focused on the stuff that I'm working on. In terms of like the thing that I've been even speaking about before, um, big one, I'm, I'm like just literally just, just going through all the kind of like mentoring programs and stuff from different kind of people out there. Just find one niche that you want to become the best at or like a leader in and just go full out. And because the better you are at a certain thing, the more you'll enjoy it. For me, it's just like working in this industry of marketing and stuff like that. It's just, I'm just super excited about if, if someone just, like that's the thing, you, you have to be super excited about the work. And like every day, every single day that I wake up, no matter if it's a good day, if it's a bad day, I just wake up and I'm literally excited about being here. And Yeah, some, some things are, aren't really that expensive. It's more about just taking the shot and doing the stuff that you always want to be, wanted to do. Like if you wanna experience, if you wanna like rent a supercar or just to do something like that, like today I've been accidentally just watching a few videos, accidentally, I, I mean on purpose, I've been watching a few videos back last year from Dubai where I just took my friend and I flew him out there. We, we were just shooting an, an ad for one campaign that I actually launched a few weeks ago. And it was just so much freaking fun. We rented an SRT Dodge and just rode it across Dubai, just seen seen all the all the cool places, network with some guys. That was a great time. Like those were great times. Like looking back, so those were great times. From the age of sixteen, I can like from the age of fifteen, I started to read them books. I always had a vision of like doing great stuff, being in, like traveling private, like doing all of these things, many of which have still not come into fruition. I'm just like, okay, great. They have not come into fruition, but at the same time, like many things have come, come, have come into fruition. And just being super fixated about achieving a certain thing and only then being living a certain life. I just don't really feel that this makes any sense. Like in terms of if you, like that's the thing, if you actually go and travel to all of these places and like see how the, the world actually looks like there and like how it feels like, like the feeling, the internal feeling that you have from the places, like literally even the US, it's so freaking weird. There are so many people there, which is a great potential, but at the same time, it's just, um, you go into, Hmm. It's it's super weird. Because like great, um you are in the US, you have a great income potential, but at the same time it's just like let's say you're living in San Francisco, which is like kinda of breaking apart right now. I've been there, I've traveled in across the entire city. Such a mess. And the people there First of very weird. Some of them, like literally, you have Stanford there, you have great people there as well. Not speaking about that. Met a few great people working on some like um remote car driving, like automatic car driving and like bit seen a lot in a lot of night places as well. But in terms of for example health insurance, if anything goes south with your health in the US, you're pretty much just screwed. You have bills for everything, like the bills just to, to, to for healthcare in the US are just crazy high. Second thing is that it's the society there is, you know, is very harsh in a way that results are very like like everyone just it's, it's a lot about results that you have. Like if you don't have results, then everyone is very pragmatic and not sure if that's the right word. Just everyone is, one just wants to take care of himself. What else? Yeah. 
not sure if there's anything else to get. Literally, if you just come to Europe, the quality of food, uh, I mean, I'm speaking about Austria. If you come to Austria, I'm, I'm actually living in the place or in the city with the highest quality of life for the year 2023. So I'm not sure if I should be um, kind of bragging about this, but it, it kind of makes sense. Like the food here, the quality of the food, you just go into the shops, like the food is super high quality, super healthy, reasonably priced. You can go out to some nice places here. People are just super encouraging, like just working towards one's one goal or just like advancing, trying to make progress. This, this, the, yeah, even like the, the school system here. Like I, I've met so many, like there was even the, this one, one Colombian girl, a very nice one. And uh, in Tampa, um, yeah, she's from Tampa and in Florida. And, we were speaking to her um, about we were we were speaking about a few things here and there uh, when we met, and she told me like she spent or her parents spent like three hundred k on on her undergraduate education in a private school. I was like, holy crap, three hundred k! Just just compare that like you you don't even have a premier. I mean, like private schools are great, but at the same time, I'm just literally in one of the like the quality essentially even the quality of the inf information might be on a bit higher level because we have guys from Stanford, MIT who are, um, yeah, who I'm in a pretty close relationship with like professors. And it's, it's pretty much free. You know, I don't have to pay a sing single dime. Like, I do have to pay like 20 bucks a semester, which is nothing. And just like compare this, like 20 bucks, um, it's super safe here. You can travel, travel wherever you want. I mean, these things compared to the US, we have to pay like crazy amounts, even for tuition, everything else, everything is super expensive. It's just like these things, not, not a lot of people see them from my point of view. It's great that you have money, but at the same time, like if you're living in New York, uh, like these things come into your mind once you just start reaching people that kind of like you want, who live the life you want, always wanted to live. There was this one guy from LA. He had a huge company. He, he owns some nice pieces of real estate. I mean, like the villas in LA were really, really nice, but at the same time, it's just like for me, the biggest factor would be, okay, how would I get, I mean, like you can pay for people just, just to get, get your groceries at the same time. I would just like kind of definitely re rework the gym there so that I would actually be able to just go and, and have workouts at home. But yeah, just like there, there are many things that tie into everything. And um, the biggest factor for me right now is just like really focusing on our overheads that I have. and even big props to a good friend of mine who has essentially just, who, who is even a great mentor of mine. He's 21 years old, one of the most, um, most the youngest accomplished guys that I, I know, a really great really guy. Um, and he was the guy who told me like, okay, bro, you have to come, come to Bali with me in 2022, which was two years ago. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Um, just, just, got rid of all of stuff. Like just, just raise some, raise some capital for the trip and went there and it was one of the craziest experiences of my life in terms of like we had such a blast together he actually wanted to me to drop out of out of university which i did or like he enticed me or he even showed me the road but i decided to drop up back in and i mean it was it was a blast Yeah, so where, where just to go from here? Have a clear focus about the things you want to achieve. Uh, be willing to say no to many, many things. Yeah, in terms of the life quality, like even, even that's a thing for me. I can't really be focused in Bali. I'm not sure why, just like, like that's the thing. You have so many overheads and it's, it's not just about like maximizing the upside, but also minimizing the downside. And for me right now, like, okay, literally, I'm able to focus like 80% of my entire everything on work and it's gonna be even better, bigger and better because, okay, Jesus. 
yeah, like for example, he, these headphones, um, just I'm gonna be, be even purchasing a few incense, like essences that actually will be helping me to focus more. The essence dispenser, um, then uh, what else? The a new desk should be arriving very, very soon. I have a very nice comfy chair, I have these lights. Actually, you your environment, you don't even know how much it actually motivates you to work work harder. So I just like wanna, wanna completely revamp this whole building or like the place where I live in, or at least it's in a decent shape even right, even right now. I mean like the environment, if you would see like the places where I'm surrounded, it's just super nice. Just walk up the gardens and just uh, pristine, not a lot of traffic. It's, it's the same thing as if, if I would be living in like nearby Central Park and like right nearby, right on the university campus, and it's just super freaking nice. So, like, yeah, okay, Bali, it's great. You have, like, I would go there for the network in the first place, but then just, okay, <laughs> okay, just, just literally just now stating all the things that I would incur, all the costs that I would incur, first cost being that I would have to. Um, like take take care of my bike, uh, take care of refueling it. Um, I mean, like this is not the cost at the end of the day. It, it's also a blast just, just to travel around, but at the same time, okay, like doing these two things. Then what else? Just going, going to the gym, traveling to the gym, like 30 minutes there and back, taking care of food. Like, okay, just going somewhere and like ordering food. For me, it's now very efficient that I just go and grab something and just, I'm, I'm done eating Right now, I, I eat the same thing every single day. Even though right now, like, I my my, my diet isn't the best. I would say like I'm, I'm fasting for about 16 hours every single day. I would say it's acceptable from a certain point of view in terms of the things that I actually eat. Um, I eat. It's called schnitzel, <laughs> uh, like with a bread roll once a day, and then like. Two protein drinks, like four protein bars, and I would say like a dozen of apples every single day. Actually, apples are super, super great. They fill you up. They like super great. And then Bali, it's just like even having some great food. Like there are bugs and worms inside everything. Inside the apples, I mean, like it's gross in many things, uh, in many ways. They have to just eat from the, these dispensaries. I mean, they're good. Like the quality of food is great there. I'm I'm looking forward to just going there. Um, but yeah, it's just like super freaking weird. And and even from my point of view, when you just like come come into places like this, in terms of the connections that you create, in many ways, it actually works pretty pretty decently. Like even the the amount of people that I actually met who are decently well off even like the true fan friendships that i've created are, are really really well um the biggest factor being that is that like when you are in a community you have to so to say assume the role of a leader like being being in the being in the leadership role that you're like the leader of your life and making conscious decisions otherwise you'll just fall back into the standards of the people you were surrounding yourself with and i'm not saying that any, anyone is good or bad or anything like that like for sure not like everyone is living their life my point of view and i just kind of like live my life based on my values based on the things that i want to accomplish and i i have the like kind of like the, the mentality that i just want to conquer there's nothing else that brings me more pleasure than just to conquer conquer myself conquer my fears just smash through all the limits that i've had in the past that just like makes me satisfied because like I'm I'm so to say seeking respect for myself and that's even the reason why I'm freaking working 16 hours every single day. I'm not now seeking the most efficiency and being the person who's working four hours a day. Even if I've done that, like okay, if I would achieve great results with that, I would be like okay, great man, you you made a great job. Uh, but right now, based on the circumstances that I'm in, I'm just like literally going to sleep and the thing that enables me to sleep well as the feeling that I know that there's nothing else that I could have done that day to come up with a better outcome. At the same time, like right now speaking, the past three days that I've just like been so much freaking scattered around the things that I'm actually working on, it's, um, it's a lot. Like 
definitely have just one vision that you're pursuing and just go all, all after it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's just like, I would say the, the best, the most important thing a person can, can gain is education. Uh, even from my point of view, I'm just listening to all these different video tapes, audio tapes every single day uh, for hours and hours um, and hours and so like looking at different points of view on the same thing from like this view, this view, this view, just creating even in the market or in the, in the industry where I'm in right now. Just having access to education. I read so many books, like literally so many books, and now I'm more focusing on reading the same books more and more uh, again and again. And just having a decent perspective like that's the thing I, I read perhaps like 350 books i would say 300 i'm not sure i have like 207 titles on on audible right now and i'm gonna perhaps add even a few more yeah i'm, I'm adding them very very fast so okay give me a sec cool just looking at a few messages here and there. I just really feel that, like that feeling, even, even though everyone says that, like that feeling of, okay, you're gonna achieve something and then you'll feel happy is, is a fle fleeing mentality from a certain point of view. What's interesting is that rarely did I feel happy in the moment, but when I just look at back, I look back at those specific moments in life in my life, I just like kind of feel like okay, great, it's like they, they're just so to say gone, and I'm I'm pretty satisfied with the way how like those things actually turn up. You have so freaking much in life, like so freaking much, and there's just so much things to do but not enough time so like way better just to focus on one thing become the best freaking person in the world just in one specific thing and um then just rolling with that and in terms of even uh, like for me it's like elimination is is the way like eliminating okay i'm just gonna wear the ser same things every single day i'm just gonna um eat the same things every single day i'm gonna eliminate all social contact from my life like not all but like majority 95 percent of all other things that actually work and education and just living in a strict monk mode i'm gonna eliminate 95 percent or 90 percent of all the exercises i've been doing before just to like focus on very efficient workouts every single day or like six times a week that's great like that's even even if you just just kind of understand it in this way that like from my point of view it's just like you're gonna get so much more so freaking much more if you just let's say go ahead and rent uh, like big caveats to everything from the age of 15 when i was was just starting out when i was like searching for a vision in my life i literally didn't know what i was just just, just searching for aiming for striving for i just kind of like wanted to get out of the life that I've, I've been living there and then and i told myself or like i created a vision of myself of the person who i wanted to become like i want to be speaking with me before twenty thousand people i didn't know like the okay i want to be at eight figures I want to like just do, do these things flying private like like just really big goals because those were the goals that actually ignited the fire inside me i've changed so freaking much within a period of few months and also a big goal that i had was just like okay i just freaking want to be in la and with a view of of the entire city and um i actually wanted to own that place literally like i, I mean it's a it's a bolder vision but who cares? And last year that I've been in LA, I, I got a chance. I mean, I created a chance for myself just to go ahead and just have a look at that place. And when I've been there, I actually drank a few bunch of them. Um, 
I mean, it was one of the most pristine communities in the entire world. With that being said, <laughs> comparing that to all the benefits that I actually received back here, for, for example, even in my hometown, I'm not sure if that would be the thing that would actually be worth it at the end of the day. You just go achieve. I mean, achievement is great. Like I, literally all the things I've done in the past and achieved, there, there's, you feel so freaking great about them. Like getting to European championships, being super jacked, driving Lambos at the age of 19, doing so much freaking fun. Um, like just filling up huge conferences of people, speaking on the stages in front of like thousand people. What else I've done? Getting to one, one of the best universities in the world. Meeting people from Stanford, from Harvard, from MIT. Um, it, it's so much freaking fun just to win. And yeah, even like the way how I currently want to have it planned is that like my big goal is to just kind of hit 10,000 hours. Um, in terms of, I just kind of like want to get on the right track and I just really now feel that this is the right time just to go hard, just to really double down on the things I've been working in the past, because in the last five years, I've been just literally just testing few things here and there. I've been in so many industries that I can hardly even count it. I've been in selling insurance, like doing a lot of stuff. And I just now really want to just, just focus and double down on what's working. And even in terms of finishing the university. I just really feel that now is the great time to do that. At the same time, acknowledging one thing, and if you just take one thing from this the entire episode, is just that first off, right now in the moment, like just if you close your eyes or if you just become more conscious of your body, there won't be a single time in your entire life where you will feel better than you can feel right now. And that's a great that's a great point because like we as human beings are just pursuing pleasure and we just feel that okay, like there's gonna be one point where everything will be set up. And if you just kinda kinda acknowledge that okay, there's not gonna be a single point in the future where you'll just feel more better than you can feel right now. It, it's gonna hit hit strong. At the same time, there's this one saying that if you feel happy, you shouldn't strive to be happier. Or if you're happy, if you feel happy, you shouldn't strive to feel happier. And that, that kind of hit hard for me. I, I read it like three years ago and it's still stuck in my mind because we we still feel like, okay, like there's going to be this one thing. And if I just do this or have this or have this, like I'm going to feel happier. But at the same time, it's just like, okay, live in the moment. Enjoy. In terms of volume and like, enjoyment and stuff, like, like it's the same st stuff as with overconsumption. Like, wait, you have food, you eat food. Um, you want to have experiences. Pursuing experiences is great, but at the same time, like, just okay. Food is great. Like, pursuing women is great. Now, just like literally spending 10 years doing that, not sure if that's the best path. Rather just like focus your time on something that's going to be worth in the next 10 years. Worth it. Building your background, your skill set, just building a rock solid foundation based on what you'll then build everything on top of. Yeah, if you just kind of like go, I really feel that there's, and also, yeah, big point here, very big one. Like this is also kind of tied to the one thing that you should definitely take away. Or like if there would be just one thing, definitely take, take away this one is that like kind of, I would say like the luxurious lifestyle is kind of overrated nowadays and luxury, luxurious life. Like, okay, you just feel that you're just going to live such a better life when you're going to have a Rolls Royce, when you're going to, I actually tried all of these cars out or when you're going to. Um, do this when you're gonna be surrounded by famous people where you're gonna when you're gonna be um, like flying I, mean, I haven't flown private yet so I can, can confirm that uh, 
I mean, for sure, you want to strive for that. Even I'm striving for that. But at the same time, it's just like there, ninety. There, there's so many things, even with your current skills, with your current level of income, that you can do in the world. Like so many things, right now, that you literally have no excuses for not doing the things you always wanted to do. And I. Very, very similarly, like the best, I mean, not sure if the best, when, you, when you're when you super jacked or when you have a six pack, when you're taking care of your body for the past 10 years straight, and I'm just kind of building the momentum, which I'm going to be speaking about even in, in a few moments, is that you cannot have this big ne negative, how do you say that? Negative pendulum, pendulum, pendulum. Not sure if it's, no, I'm not sure if it's pendulum or pendulum. Pendulum, pendulum sounds better. Hopefully it's right. Yeah, negative pendulum. And which means that for me, I literally get more pleasure out of not eating an unhealthy food rather than eating it and then having the mental regret that I actually wrecked my physique. And, and from my point of view, it's kind of like grit. I'm going to rather incur the the, the pain of being hungry, which is good because you have creativity. Now I didn't eat for like six or seven hours, maybe even eight. I just feel so freaking great. Um, I'm super energetic. I have, I have so much energy, even, if, even though it's half past 2 a.m. Gonna be 3 a.m. soon. Woke up at like eight. So that's the first thing, just elimination. In, in terms of, yeah, Rolls Royce's lifestyles, I mean, it's... Even living a decent life is, is such a privilege because you don't have... You're not incurring any of the debt. You just like literally do whatever the heck you want. You go out when you want, want to go out. No one knows you. Like even right now, like, okay, you, you would just feel that, okay, there would be just one thing that like, I would like some, some stupid stuff, like some stupid things that I would like to do that would just bring me so much freaking happiness and everything like that. For me right now, like for example, just going back and seeing my sister and just being there with, with her for her birthday or just like going to, into cinema. Literally, I haven't watched a movie for like four months right now. Like going to to the cinema and just seeing a movie, that would be like the biggest shot of dopamine for me. And that's like, even like in terms of a going on a vacation, you just feel like, okay, there's going to be this one point where you want to go on a vacation and stay there for a long period of time. But just after seven days, the entire vacation mentality of our parades and you just want to freaking get back to work because we were meant to work or at least on something. I'm, I'm that kind of a type that our person just really want to achieve. A person who really inspires me is, for example, Kobe Bryant or LeBron James. Like, okay, LeBron had 40k points a few days ago. Like, that's something. You just, like, what's the main point of the game? The main point, like, oh, here, you're winning. Great. What's what's the point of the game? Like, just to keep winning. That's that's the name of the game. You just wake up, you train hard, you work on stuff. Then you have, for, for example, a few places or spots here and there just to mess around with people. And that's it. I'm going to, like, I've, I've been not been a big, big, big part in, like, just networking and stuff like that. But, like, literally the thing that I'm going to implement very, very soon is just, like, dinners and stuff like that just going out with people for dinners, even though I'm not going to like, I'm not likely going to eat in it. Maybe I'm going to eat something, but just literally being with people on dinners, having other people take care of you. And that's great. Yeah. Okay, we're recording this for one hour already. It's the longest episode that I have here. Never mind. I'm just like literally enjoying this stuff. So the last thing here is, at least my point of view in this this entire thing called life is that 
at the end of the day or at the end of this this entire thing you're just gonna like, like trying to live without regrets it's just i would say that it's a fleeing concept because for sure if you just compare your life even your life right now to the life of people for example your grandparents and the life they have lived it's disproportionately better because like for example my both of my grandfathers were born during the world war ii my grand grandfather the father of my grandfather he has fallen world war ii and it's just literally seeing all the innovation and everything else all the things that we treat as as normal today like you just have headphones that have no cable like literally have no cable You're, they're listening to you. Uh, you you can record yourself from your laptop you have so many cameras all around the place you can just like be on a computer have answer to any question anytime you want you have an ai assistant that just does creates for you anything you want immediately you have access to all education all materials everything you want access to all people you can contact them right away for zero cost you can travel the entire world you have no communism here because my grandfather both of my grandfathers even my parents were brought up during communism until the age of like six 16 or 18 or something like that 15 and like just okay great you can travel you you can do whatever the heck you want like great um that's an upgrade and at the end of the day like okay we, we i'm gonna live a certain type of life or even you might live a certain type of life but then the next 200 years or for example if you're gonna have children then they will likely live a way better life than you've lived because the technology everything else will be just so much freaking advanced that once they will hit the age of 21 they'll be just so much freaking further ahead than you've been and even i can see that on my sister she's currently 12 and she's been brought up in a different age she's she's 10 years younger than I am and she's been brought up in a such a different age than I've been and even I remember that my first phone like you had just these big Nokia phones that were just I, I remember my, the first time my dad bought an iPhone it was like 2009 and 2010 I'm not sure it was just the iPhone 3GS I remember him bringing it back home it was like the most exciting thing i started playing video games there right away yeah i mean like just trying to be perfect is a game you can't win trying to live a perfect like that's the thing even right now like right now compare your life right now today even if you aren't living the best life that's out there to a life of the like let's say of a even the like one of the richest people in the world in 1924 and you are so friggin so much wealthier today than he's been and that's the thing that okay like regardless of how this is going to turn up if you just show up and, and put everything there just leave everything on the table and, and just live their life like a blast like that that's even the the mentality that i have i don't have a mentality that i'm okay just going to be full focus on work and not do anything else in my life like no i freaking want to enjoy myself i want to do, do some stuff but for me like right now it's more about just having more experiences and exploring more that's the reason why i want to travel to more countries even contribute to more growth and as the groundwork or, or of everything i just really see the education there because if you have education you know which direction you should go even where we're going as humanity um, i mean like many things can go wrong many thing, things can go south at the end of the day like okay you just the thing that happened in ukraine if that wouldn't have happened we might have we might have been further or right, even in terms of like their development and stuff so yeah um i'm gonna leave, leave you here with this it's it's gonna be 3 a.m soon i just need to grab at least a few hours of sleep they're just literally in the last few days i feel kind of great recording this video uh for you because sometimes the more even like the more i give the more i share of all the things that have helped me and um just being very generous in terms of my time here with you i mean 
at the end of the day, I really feel that like these sessions are kind of even helping me myself since I'm just kind of like reprocessing all that information, even like finding a few snippets that I can touch up on from a different point of view. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it with this here. And I just literally have so many different kind of things. I'm, I'm getting back to school while I just have so much freaking going on in the past one and a half months, that I'm one, yeah, five weeks that I've just been fully focused on business. I just like literally now to need to structure everything and um, creating new tax structures and rethinking what I'm going to move to Dubai and like my entire company there and everything else like just... Um, hiring new people, posting content on social media, like so much stuff that I can't even, I, I, I barely know what I'm, um, what I'm working on, but that's the thing like, okay, just freaking enjoy it. It's a blast. And just do stuff that excites you. Oh, Jesus, it's 3 a.m. I received so many, so many freaking messages on Slack. <laughs> Never mind. Cool, guys. It was great speaking to you. Keep crushing it, guys. Uh, you're, I'm your biggest fan. If you need, if, if you have any questions or anything else, just shoot me a message on Instagram. Curious about where you're in your life, where, you, where you're on your journey. And let's just keep crushing this. Some days you feel bad, some days you feel good. If you just kind of keep making the progress every single day, at least in terms of the efficiency that you have, you're going to eventually get very, very far ahead. And then just kind of like keep, keep doing what you're doing. That's, that's the thing for me. I, at least like literally working nine to five is, is a very bad destination. So yeah, escape the matrix. <laughs> I'm like an right now. Uh, yeah, guys, catch you.